Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I always feel the need to like sing song in my videos. I have so many exciting things planned for today's video. I'm just so excited to like hang out with you guys this evening and just do fun bookish things. I'm just so very excited. So I know you may be thinking, what is it that you're so excited to do again? So, well, I'm so excited to bring you guys along while I redecorate my Kindle. I just got some Etsy stickers that I'm just so excited to redecorate my Kindle with because my Kindle still has Christmas stickers on it. And it's time to put some like different ones. I'll just say like fun ones. These are fun, but I'm just excited to just like redecorate it. And I also got a new reading journal and I want to bring us along while I do like a little flip through and write in it for the very first time. And I also, for the very first time, I'm going to be doing a unhaul of some of my books. I have never, ever, ever done this. It's very easy to like hoard books and like never get rid of any, but I know that there's books on the, my shelf right now that I'm not going to read and I want to give away to someone else that will read it and like why not give it to someone else that's actually going to enjoy it instead of it just sitting on my bookshelf. I have like a few bookish related things that I'm so excited to bring you guys along with. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So first things first, I actually have a little bookmark haul guys guys okay i can easily talk about this for like 10 minutes <sighs> i'm just so excited to talk about these i got my hands on these Coraline bookmarks guys look so this one is welcome home this is the cake in the first scene where she's in the like other world when she's like with the other parents look at it like it's so freaking cute and then we have a bookmark of like a overview of the house like we have the button we have the pink palace we have the cat the forest like oh my gosh these are freaking adorable i love these so much now to redecorating my kindle i'm so excited to do this i just got these in the mail these are um stickers from etsy shops look at these it's a friggin' pink heart that says book lovers. Then we got another one um, in different like shades of like purple and pink that also says book lovers. And then, this is so freaking cute. I got this one that says emotional support Kindle. Ah, it's gonna be so cute. And I just love the vibe of all of these. I feel like it all just like goes together very well. Look at these, you guys. <laughs> this one that says Romance Book Club. It's like a little ticket. And then, I think this is the one I'm most excited for. This one that says, This Barbie Reads Books. How freaking cute. And then, I got another one that says, Hot Girls Read. What does it say? Yeah, Hot Girls Read Books. actually went ahead and got two more stickers this one says be good to yourself this one's by Theo Vaughn and then I got this one that says love potion this is by um, the Harry Potter stickers that I have because it was like valentine vibes but i needed purple to like match with this purple at least my brain felt the need to tell me why i'm not like obsessed with it <sighs> why maybe it'll like marinate in a little bit and then i will be crazy about it we got my lovely bookshelf here and it is time to now pick out some books that I want to unhaul. Or more rather, let's take off all the books that I know I'm not going to read. Basically, like what I'm going off of is if it's not bringing me excitement when I see it, like I'm, if I'm not like, oh, I'm really excited for that book, then I'm gonna get rid of it. 
No, I'm not. I'm actually lying to you because I know there's books on here that don't give me that, but I can't get myself to get rid of it. This is the first book I ever bought. I don't know what I was thinking. Bought this, I like looked it up, so it's like really fresh in my mind. December 15th, 2020. So it's gonna be four years. It's been like three years since I've had this book. And I am terrified of this book. And I haven't thinking about getting rid of it because I'm like, I, <sighs> like when I'm good mentally, why do I wanna not be good mentally by purposely not making it good mentally, but not making myself good mentally by reading this book? I'm, I'm able to like put my mental health down on my own. Like I don't need help. There's something about this freaking book that is so intriguing. I don't know why I'm slapping it so hard. There's something so intriguing that I I want to read it and I can't get myself to get rid of it. Today, today's not the day. We're not gonna get rid of it. All type of trigger you could have is in this book. But yet I can't get myself to get rid of it. I don't know why. <sighs> why is this hard? Why is this like sad? Okay, the one book for sure that I have in the back of my mind, well I have a few, but this is one of them, is Gone Girl. I just didn't like this book. I think I rated it like two stars and I don't feel the need to hold on to it. And normally if I don't, is it focused? Can you see me? I have my contacts, but I still can't see the viewfinder. So Gone Girl is the first one. I also, I believe I have Sharp Objects on my shelf. This is by the same author, Gillian Flynn. I got this from a mini library, so it shouldn't make me feel that bad that I'm getting rid of it, but it does. <sighs> Didn't really care for this book, so if I have another book by the same author, when I look at this, I kind of feel dread, and I don't want to feel that when I look at my bookshelf. So I'm gonna be getting rid of both of these. Now, these are the books that I feel bad about. I got like four books gifted to me by a coworker and she knows I love to read books so she gifted me four and I'm so very grateful but when I look at them, I don't really feel excitement and the reason that she gave them to me was because they were just sitting on her bookshelf and she wanted someone to enjoy them and now they're doing the same thing on mine. But here's the thing, like when I read, the, these are two of them. When I read the synopsis, they sound intriguing, but I don't see myself grabbing them. But whenever I look at my bookshelf, I don't feel like reading it, like ever. It's been maybe a year that I've had them. Cause look, for this one, it says four friends, one murder, and a dark fate that may leave them all doomed. After a mysterious death of their best friend, a group of four girls at an elite school uh, start to do this investigation. The police ruled Arion's death a suicide, but the trio's determined to find out what really happened. You see, that sounds intriguing. This was another one, White Smoke. Like when I look at this, I don't really get excited. Now this one just doesn't, honestly I'm judging a book by its cover. This, if it had a different cover, maybe, but something with this cover, I'm hating on it. Shoot me. These are the three that she gave me. I think <laughs> I want to get rid of this one, this one, let me read the synopsis again. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Ooh, they soon learn that all the past murders are connected to ancient fairy tale curses. Okay, this is the one that's gonna stay. Oh shoot, someone's calling me. My bad, shouty. Hey. Hey yo. Why you look so goddamn Cause I gotta look good for you too. Now that I've actually watched the movie and I know the entire plot of this book, I don't feel like holding on to it. I don't know. Now I feel like I can get rid of it that I, since I watched the movie. Like if I really loved the movie, then I'd read the book. But I wasn't that crazy about the movie. Like I enjoyed it, but it wasn't. I, I, I didn't love it. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. And why is this so bad on me? I bought this when I first was reading. <laughs> it's a freaking pocketbook. And tell me why this is making me cringe. But I've heard people talk about this book and they say they really liked it. So how wasteful is it of me to get rid of this and then buy like a 
like regular book size. Would you guys hate me if I did that? Also, this isn't, I mean, this is on hauling, but like I'm not giving them away. I'm giving them back to their owner. These books here, The Wish, which I've read, The Great Alone, which I've read, The Four Winds, which I've read, and The Return, which I've also read. These plus these two that I haven't read, but I don't see myself reading. These are all from my boyfriend's aunt. Since I know that I'm not going to read uh, Winter Garden and Fly Away by Chris and Hannah, I can now give these back to her. Ooh, I found another one. Girl in Pieces. This also was one of the first books I ever bought and I gave it a shot, but it's written in like poems. Like they don't take up the whole space, like it's just little paragraphs. Um, and I didn't like it. I don't see myself reading this. So I think I'm also gonna get rid of this one. So let me do a little quick run through of the books that I'm getting rid of. I'm gonna get rid of The Whisper Man. I feel really bad to be honest because I do wanna read this book, but I don't know why I bought a pocketbook. And if I knew I was gonna get rid of it, I wouldn't have bought it. I just feel bad knowing that I do wanna read it, but it's a pocketbook and that's like making me get rid of it. Then I got Girl in Pieces. Then we got Leave the World Behind. Then we got She is a Haunting. Then we have White Smoke. And then we have Sharp Objects and Gone Girl. I'm pretty proud of myself, to be honest. I hope these go to someone that will love them and appreciate them and give them the love that they deserve. It is time for a flip through on this lovely journal. First off, it has bees, it has flowers, and it's shiny. How beautiful. We love it. And I even love this, love this little like strap thing. I don't know why little things like that I feel like adds to the quality of the journal. So we love that. So, oops, sorry, I already hit you. I love the idea of creating a journal all by yourself, no limits. But I feel for my first ever reading journal, I want something that's going to have it laid out for me already. Um, it's a little intimidating to create it all on your lonesome. So to have one like this, it's wonderful. So this basically is showing you like how you can use your reading journal. She has her own favorite books. Okay, long story short, I already filmed this reading journal flip through and I thought it was really poor lighting and quality. So I'm redoing it. So I'm hiding this because I don't want you to see what I already wrote. You're going to see what I wrote after this clip, but we have a favorite books option or section rather and i love like i love like the tree branches with the pink flowers i think it just looks so beautiful and then we have a reading goals reading stats and then we have a tbr reading list and then we have two pages of that because if you're a reader your tbr is very very long and then we have a like what to read next she has um, little like prompts for you already. So like if I'm ever just like in a ring slump or just like don't know what I want to read next, I can go on here. Like it says, read a new book by a favorite author, read a book with a movie or TV adaptation, read the next book in a series you haven't finished yet. So it's really cool. And I love the pink flowers. Like it just looks so beautiful. Then on here, this is what the journal is mainly made out of. So we have like the title page, the stars, we can even go into depth about like the genre, number of pages, and then it has questions for you to fill out. And then you have a blank space here for you to fill out. I am currently looking at like a little mini like Canon printer where I can print out like little photos of the books that I'm reading and I can like put the book that I'm talking about here and then like maybe I can like do something fun around it or whatever. I do like the option of a clear blank space so that I can do like my own custom thing. But like I said, the majority of the journal is this and there's like over a hundred pages, which I love because for me, this is going to last me a really long time. So then we have a favorite author section, the author name, the favorite books, 
we have a couple of pages of that and then it goes to favorite quotes and then we even have an option for the most anticipated book releases so this is where i can like track and organize the new books that are coming out in 2024 and then the books to reread favorite childhood books book to screen favorite movies favorite tv shows and then we even have her own like reading playlist which is so fun i personally don't listen to music when i read i can't do both at the same time but who knows maybe in the future i will start to and then where i get my books favorite bookish creators this is so fun i love this i love this section so much and then it goes to the very end i'm going to be able to just like cherish this and hold this forever and i'm very excited to begin my reading journal let's write this for the very first time i'm so excited oh i have to break the spine oh it's giving me cringe oh, why do i cringe so bad having to do this okay so favorite books the first favorite book like my first ever favorite book and the one that has stayed my favorite book is The Midnight Library. So we're gonna put that one first. And then the second book that I think about is Rabbit by Miss Pat. What's another book that pops into my head that I'm like, this is my favorite? Ooh, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Ew, I write like a boy. <laughs> oh, Mary Jane, how could I forget? I didn't plan on this, but I think I'm actually going to put every single book I've ever read ever in this journal so that I can like confidently and just like, I feel like it'd be satisfying to be like in this journal, I have every book I've ever read, um, like tracked in here. And there's so many pages that like, I'm gonna have enough for a while. I would say the very first book was probably Twilight. Let's put on here. Twilight. I don't know what it is, but it's like I feel some comfort starting from the very first book that I read. And it's like, as the years go on, I'm not going to be able to remember. So I feel like I should do it while I like remember. And then like 20 years from now, I'm going to be able to look back at this and I'll be like, wow, it was Twilight. And then I'm going to like, it's going to take me back to COVID. And when I was like, just trying to find something to do. So then date started. This is where it's going to be hard because I don't remember. I remember I actually posted on my Finsta <laughs> that I wanted Jaden to be a vampire. <laughs> Look at this. Why can't Jaden be a vampire? That is, oh, it's 2021? May 20, May 14th, 2021. I totally thought it was 2020. For the genre, I'm gonna put why a romanticy. And then recommended by, I'm gonna put boredom. This feels like I'm doing a little presentation at school, showing you guys what I've done. So we got Twilight here. We rated it a four star. 
It was definitely my favorite out of the series. <laughs> Recommended by Boredom of COVID. I actually, I think I recorded when I did this one. So we're just gonna go on to the next one. Then we got Rabbit. This is by Patricia Williams, AKA Miss Pat. We rated it a five star. My most favorite, favorite book is The Midnight Library, but Rabbit, it's like right there. Like a hair away from also being my favorite book. Um, it's a memoir. And my stepdad was the one that recommended me this and I read it in 2018. I don't remember the month exactly. It, the, the, the part that says would you recommend this book and why I put I would to only certain people because it has a lot of hard topics slash triggers and since she's a comedian people may think the jokes can be offensive. And then what did I learn from this book? I put that I have no excuse if I want it I can make it happen. And that's because Miss Rabbit grew up dirt poor. And that's how she says it, like dirt poor. And now she is a successful comedian who has money and can do what she wants and has her own show and goes on podcasts. She's gone on like Theo Vaughn, Joe Rogan, like really big uh, comedian like podcast and like does stand up like she's made it in life. And then the next book is New Moon, literally rated it two stars. Literally, it's so blank. Like, favorite quote, didn't have any. Most memorable scene, don't really remember. Um, <laughs> would you recommend this book and why if you like the movie? That's literally all I put for New Moon. I just, it wasn't anything crazy. And then the Midnight Library, I definitely need to go back and put my favorite quotes. I don't remember my favorite quotes, but if I do a reread, then I could definitely like come back and fill it in. Five stars. Literally love this one. I got it recommended to me by TikTok. It was like the first ever book. I read it in October of 2021. Also, I think why I love it so much. I started reading this when I was still living with my parents. And then when I finished the book, I was living on my own with Jaden. So that's crazy. And then would you recommend this book? I put always to anyone who asks for Rex. So I love it with my whole heart and want others to read it. What did you learn? Any slash all choices you make in life changes your life story, be happy slash content where you are in life. I freaking love that movie. I mean, the movie, the book so much. I'm so excited to like have them all filled in and I'm gonna be able to say like every single book that I have read, I have it tracked in here. It's gonna be so cool. That is going to be it for today's video. If you're still here, thank you so very much. You deserve a kiss. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Like, that is so nice of you. I love filming these type of videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. That is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.